Hi, I'm Aki, a minimalist who is a school teacher in a small village in Japan. In a previous video, I made a video about what I eat in a day, which many of you seem to really like. I thought many people were interested in what foods are sold in the supermarket in Japan and what Japanese people usually eat. So today, I'd like to make a video what I eat in a week. In this video, I will not only make my usual meals, but also try to make new recipes including the foods that have recently become popular in Japan. On top of that, I'll introduce dishes from local restaurants in my village as well. So, I hope you will enjoy it. Good morning, everyone. I usually wake up at 5 o'clock and drink a smoothie. The reason for drinking smoothie in the morning is that it's easy to make and it's an efficient way to consume many beneficial nutrients. Basically, I make banana smoothies with some different ingredients every morning. This week, I'll try to change the recipe little by little so I can experiment with other smoothie recipes. Delicious. After drinking smoothies, I make and drink matcha using the Chanoyu method, which is the way of making tea. This habit helps not only to wake me up, but also to improve my health as well. Recently, because of the increasing number of people with wheat allergies and rising prices of wheat, some people have been making bread made with rice flour in Japan. I've been making rice flour bread myself recently too. Actually, rice flour bread doesn't rise as much compared to wheat bread. But it's chewy and actually really delicious. Today, the shape is a little distorted, but it's okay. I'm gonna make a sandwich with this bread. Yeah, it's super delicious. When I went shopping yesterday, I happened to find a color of tsuna at a low price. The color of tsuna is the neck part of the fish, behind the gills. It's said to be the most delicious part when grilled with salt, because it has delicious fat on it. To be honest, I love it more than the usual fatty tsuna. So I decided to buy it and make it. Put it in the oven and wait 30 minutes. It's done! In terms of rice, I use organic brown rice and black rice. Then I use this clay pot to make rice, which helps to make rice more delicious. However, you need to be careful and keep a close eye on it, because the rice can burn easily. This soup made of Japanese spinach and tuna. I got organic Japanese spinach the other day, so I tried to make it. So this is the best item for chopping vegetables called Bun Bun Chopper. It's super easy to chop like this. Super easy, hey? Add the ingredients and water and you're done. I cooked a lot of tsuna, so I ate it with a friend who lives in the same share house. <laughs> it's so delicious! Good morning, everyone! So today, I'd like to put mango instead of apples in my smoothie. Also today, I'll put coconut oil instead of cobum. Coconut oil is slightly sweet and replaces sugar. Mmm, it's so mild and sweet. I feel like making matcha outside today. Making matcha outside is called nodate. I love nodate because I can feel the beauty of nature. I had a lot of vegetables, so I'm gonna make summer vegetable curry for today's lunch. Curry can be made simply by cutting vegetables, frying them, adding water and consomme, and adding curry mix. I love making curry because it's really easy to make, and I can make a good amount of it at once. Before eating, I put this special egg on it. This egg is called mayaku tamago, which literally means a drug egg, and is currently popular in Japan. It's a bit tedious to make the sauce, because it uses a lot of ingredients. But once you make the sauce, all you have to do is add the eggs and wait for a day. That's it. Actually, I ate it for the first time today, 
and the yolk is soaked in the taste of soy sauce and it's super delicious. Please look at this half-boiled deliciousness. Oh my gosh, drug eggs are highly recommended. This evening, I went to pick up the weeds growing around my house. There are many edible wild weeds in Japan. I'm gonna cook with them today. For today's dinner, I'm gonna make quinoa salad. Quinoa is popular overseas, but it's not that popular in Japan. To be honest, I haven't eaten it until recently. However, one of my friends who is a Japanese weed master made a quinoa salad for me, and it was insanely delicious. So today, I'll refer that recipe. As you know, vegetables can be easily chopped with this bun bun chopper. It's really fun! Put all chopped vegetables into one bowl, and I'll add olives at the request of my friend. Then put in the wild weeds that I picked at the end. Wild weeds are bitter when raw, so it's recommended to sprinkle a lot of citrus juice. It's even better to add a little of the skin. Finally, mix and mix, and you're done! I'll eat it with my friend's miso soup, and honestly, I'm so addicted to drug eggs, so I added that too. It was really delicious! Good morning, so I'm gonna make a smoothie as usual. Today, I'll put kiwi instead of mango. To be honest, it's the most delicious smoothie ever. Wow, this is more delicious than I thought it would be. After that, I drank matcha as usual. At noon, I'm gonna make udon noodle using the rest of the curry I made yesterday at lunch. I ate it with the drug eggs and with the quinoa salad. Egg addiction is really terrible. I think it's a true drug. Today, I went to a store in my neighborhood to buy some side dishes. They sell a lot of handmade side dishes and also local sake, which is my favorite. Today I bought locally pre-made foods that pair well with sake. Because today I received a special box from Tipsy Sake. Honestly, just like matcha, I really love sake. Throughout my life, I think I've tried at least over 100 kinds of sake. However, when I was living abroad, there are not so many options when it comes to drinking sake. From that time on, I wanted everyone in the world to drink more variety of Japanese sake. And recently, I learned about Tipsy Sake. So let me introduce Tipsy Sake, who is sponsoring today's video. Tipsy Sake is an online sake subscription service and shop that provides great sake options and goods from Japan to be sent throughout the US. This is what I like about Tipsy Sake. First, Tipsy Sake sells a wide range of sake from all over Japan, including the ones I usually drink. And another great thing to point out is their sake subscription service called the Sake Box. This is because you can try six different kinds of sake once every three months. And you can find your favorite sake. So, these are the ones I received from Tipsy Sake. Tipsy Sake. The first thing that surprised me when I opened the box was this sake guide. It contains great information about sake that is very educational for everyone. Also, these sake cards are wonderful too. Not only the basic explanation of sake, but also the alcohol concentration, the rice polishing ratio of rice, and the recommended temperature and food pairing are also written. So detailed, so well done. Alcohol is one of the things that make my life happier, like matcha. Today, I'm really happy to drink these, thanks to Tipsy Sake. Anyway, in these sakes, I really like this one. If you're interested, I'll post a link in the description. So with my discount code Samurai Matcha, all products get 10% off. If you use Samurai Matcha 30, your first sake box will be $30 off. Currently, this service is only available in the United States but I hope it will be sold worldwide in the future. Good morning! Today I had a slow start. For today's smoothie, I'd like to add spinach today. It was good, but I put too much spinach. Today's lunch will be my favorite mentai kamatama udon. It's easy to make, 
just put mentaiko, which is spicy cut eggs. Today I also put green onions and my special eggs on it. You know what it is. I went to a local izakaya in this village tonight. The nice thing about this izakaya is that it has a karaoke room. I sang with my friend while waiting for food. There are over 100 things to choose from in this izakaya. I ordered a stir fry vegetable set meal today. And look at this rolled omelet. I always say delicious, but it's actually delicious. Okay, good morning, it's Saturday. I'm gonna try to add a peach today. Mm, the taste was so so, but I'm glad it's finally Saturday. We went to the city to go shopping today. So we went to a ramen restaurant called Raidaite. After all, Japanese ramen is insanely delicious. After that, I went shopping, then come to this cafe called Komeda Coffee, which is my favorite cafe. Komeda Coffee is a cafe that is little expensive, but the food and the atmosphere inside is special. It's a chain cafe, so if you come to Japan, you can see it almost everywhere. And if you come here, I recommend this shiro no waru and this mixed juice. So nice! Today I'm gonna eat tempura for the first time in a long time. Making tempura is always a battle with oil. Hey, look at this, it looks amazing. I seasoned with matcha salt and ponzu sauce. Well then, itadakimasu! This is perfect. Really? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. How are you? So, it's Sunday. Today, I'm gonna try to add a kinako, which is a soybean powder, in my smoothie. To be honest, it wasn't very delicious, but it was a good experiment. When the weather is nice, I like to drink matcha outside. It feels so nice. I had a lot of vegetables left over, so I ate yakisoba for lunch. Yakisoba are stir fried noodles in Japan. Add the noodles and the sauce, and you're done. Today I ate my lunch while watching Naruto, which is my favorite anime. Today I'm gonna make simmered mackerel with miso. Simmered mackerel with miso is a standard dish in Japan. Today I'm gonna eat it with radish, quinoa salad, and tofu. Good morning everyone! This is the last day! Okay, I'm gonna mix it up today. I put everything I have now. And actually, this one was good. So, I've tried seven types of smoothies in this week, and I found that the kiwi smoothie was the most delicious. I hope you'll try it too. I have an after school class all day today, so I'm gonna make a lunchbox. This bento box is a traditional Japanese craft called magewappa. Since it's made by Benning Stain Sitter, it's eco friendly and very light. I love it. Of course, rice bowls are essential for Japanese bento. Aki's special lunchbox is completed. I enjoy the plastic bottle rocket experiment, but because of that, my clothes get muddy, so I went to a hot spring in that neighborhood after work. I came to this hot spring at least once a week, and I really like the open air bath here. After taking a bath, I ate food at the restaurant also located in this building. There was ramen, udon, katsudon, and more. Well, what should I eat today? Let's eat mountain vegetable soba today. Okay. Let's eat! Oh my gosh, it's super delicious. Well, this is what I ate in a week. What do you think about it? Actually, making this video is really tough because I always have to bring my camera and take a video while making and eating each meal. But it was worth trying because I learned many new recipes which I enjoyed and made me feel accomplished. What was your favorite recipe? Just for your information, my personal recommendation is, of course, my special drug eggs. It was too delicious, so please be careful not to become too addicted like me. 
For vegetarians, I recommend the wild weeds quinoa salad. If you're reluctant to wild weeds, just use normal vegetables. I think whatever you use will be great. Okay, so stay safe, have fun, and it's a long video, but thank you for watching until the end as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye! Let's go!